going on there? And that play was good for There was a pass plan. He uh, made a good decision. The cool thing about Tyler, obviously we trust him. He, uh, they played it really well. The guy ran back kind of towards it and he uh, saw that Russ was covered. Russ was panicked. So they actually now know how each other feels when a guy's covered and then they got the other guy's got to scramble. So it's pretty cool they actually can relate. But um, he, you know, he made a great play. So uh, sometimes those things, you draw them up. Sometimes it works, sometimes they don't. It was something that we, uh, we liked. We'd been working on it for a little while and uh, they played it well. But again, his ability to make things happen is what allowed it to work. Touchdowns this year, and a lot of them come, have come on kind of contested 50 50 type balls. You look at him, he doesn't look at the type of receiver that would be good at that. What did that surprise you at all? Kind of his ability to do that? I think so. Um, I think a lot of credit to him. He knows how to use his body to kind of shield people and hold them off. He plays bigger than you think. Like when you're out here watching him run around, he doesn't maybe look as big, but when you stand back there, kind of how we do, and you, you can actually see him like standing behind the the pile and the pocket and stuff. So it's pretty cool how you can see him. But yeah, I mean, the Detroit play, the the Chargers play, he's just got an uncanny ability to kind of hold the guy off at bay. We call it late hands. He kind of shows his hands late and he's been terrific on those plays. Again, first year being around him, uh, I'm sure he's probably done it maybe before, but uh, I've been pleased by that. But just when you look at the size, you think the big tall guys are the guys that leap up and take it, but that's not the case. It's all based on fundamentals and your ability to hold them off. Back to why you trust him. Why do you trust him? When it's a judgment, it's a player. football really? player, just a football player, um, sees the game from uh, the perspective almost of the coaches or of a quarterback. He just sees the game really well. I mean, literally, he's one of the first guys that if something comes off that doesn't look right to us, that I'll go to to see, hey, what would you see there? And he's normally always on it. So um, maybe growing up, you know, with his with his dad and uh, having football in his life, but he's just really smart. Um, he's made good decisions for us, so he's he's never done anything to make us not trust him and believe him. And even again, even that play that that play is not easy to call. You know that that the the little trick thing is not easy to call unless you trust the guy. And so the reason it it worked or didn't work was because we trusted him and he made it right. The last touchdown, uh, Russell and Ed Dixon, kind of the I guess what they needed to know to make that work together, especially, I mean, it's only Ed's fourth game here as a Seahawks, right. so that they were able to kind of put that all together in a situation like that. I think two veteran players, you know, they, they work. They work a little bit after practice each, each day. They know that they have to get kind of caught up, whether it's throwing a couple routes extra after practice. They did a little bit yesterday. They've just done that. But they both have played so much football. That, that's, that's where some of the experience comes in. You know, you see certain looks. They've studied the film. They're on the same page. Um, that's one of the things that Ed's done for us, being back. The big play against Detroit where he kind of goes up over the guy and makes the play. That's a trust factor that normally, I think that might have been Ed's first game back or second game back. I mean, that doesn't happen without extra work, extra reps. Um, but just a terrific play by both those guys. Did you see that coming together, standing on the sidelines there? No, it was, uh, it was, we figured we'd get some form of pressure. We actually thought, I thought the ball might go someplace else. Um, but when they brought the blitz, it was a beautiful job by Russ seeing it and how fast it, they tried to get uh, 50 Martinez over there. He got there, but he just was kind of looking back, wasn't trying to get to a spot. So again, the timing element is what was critical to the, the success of that play. To see Rashad Penny have you know back to back you know pretty strong games, what is that kind of meant? To, what have you kind of seen from him as of late? Uh, exciting. The run that he made again, it, it doesn't. Those runs don't happen very often in this league where you start one way, you get forced back the other way. And to be able to produce like that just shows his speed. And um, there were some beautiful blocks, by the way, down downfield, which, again, those guys, the receivers and tight ends downfield don't probably get enough credit. But he's just playing with confidence now. From time to time, he'll still get a little cute. He'll bounce the ball. There's a run down in the red zone where he kind of bounced it out wide late. I think it was right before the touchdown, maybe, um, where He's still trying to make the big play happen instead of trusting his read and trusting the the cuts to make the big plays happen. But um, have have known for a long time he's a terrific player, and it's good to see him put back to back game together like that. Um, and again, I think his confidence right now is uh, now he's just playing football again, which is cool. Is that kind of one of those no no no? Absolutely. Absolutely. That it's uh, no 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 no. Go, 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 type of deal. Um, but again, I remember David Moore had a big block on it, and then the guy kind of came off him late. Uh, the biggest thing, you know, Russ gets down there sometimes, so we're trying to keep him out of the fray, as we call it. Uh, but 
again, doesn't matter who we hand it to, but uh, Rashad obviously is playing really good right now. I don't think you want to go with, with Mike at the end there in the four-minute situation. Again, fresh legs, really a decisive runner. We knew kind of what the plan was going to be, what we tried to, uh, as we talked about kind of our four-minute plan, we knew that he fit that description. And again, he was kind of the fresh guy at that point. So um, just one of those decisions where complete confidence in all the guys. And he went in there and made some beautiful runs. I mean, the block, things were well blocked, but uh, the one cutback he had on the one to kind of seal the game was a beautiful run, great patience. And, and again, he just, he's got really good vision, you know? So um, that was the main reason. I guess uh, you mentioned David Moore. I know he had a pretty good block on Rashad's run against the Rams. He, he did, great block on the safety. He, I guess better at that than you might have thought or just kind of come in. Well, he's so big and powerful. I think, you know, we're, we stay on those guys that, again, balls can hit in different spots. They obviously have rules on the backside or front side of runs, but with our backs, the ball's got a potential to hit in a lot of different spots. So um, they stay alive and, and they work and they, they, they know that that's where the explosive runs come in. It's, if you can get through the front seven or the, the box, as we call it, and they can cover up their guys, that's when the, the, the big runs happen. Are you able to to switch running backs in the package at certain times in the game. What does that say about your offensive line? I think, obviously, the offensive line does a terrific job. Um, we just we know who we are. We have, a, we have a belief. We have a philosophy. We believe in those guys that whatever we call, whenever we call, it's going to work. The backs trust them. You know, they just, they, they're, they're kind of the, the heart and soul of, of what we try to do, the way we try to play. So from top to bottom, whether it's the five starters, George, Jordan Simmons, uh, Ethan, it doesn't matter. We just, we believe in those guys and uh, whatever we have to do to get it done, they kind of they kind of lead the charge, both run and pass. So uh, can't say enough about them. Is there a certain point that it all clicked in? I know they're still improving, but when you said, yeah, we were time. No, I think probably the biggest thing for us was, I mean, somebody told me this, and I, don't, I, I believe this stat's true, but first team in a long time that's rushed for seven straight, maybe 150 plus, but uh, I, I can't really pick a time. We've known that we were good, but to see it all come together, to do it with the different backs, that's what tells you. I mean, it's not one guy back there producing 100 yards games, it's been three of them. So um, it's just, it's, it's our philosophy. It's who we are and uh, maybe it's not for everybody, but it's what we believe in. Speaking of that, Carolina's run defense over the years has been pretty strong. They've got pretty good numbers this year. Just what do you see out of that group? Uh, terrific group. Defensive line, big, physical. Linebackers are as good as they come in the game, probably, at dissecting things, seeing things, both Thomas and Luke and Shaq Thompson. They just they, 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 they play that defense well. They're committed to stop the run, and uh, they do a really good job of it. So uh, be a terrific challenge for us. Uh, won't be easy, that's for sure. Uh, they've given up a couple big runs, but it's uh, it's tough sledding to go in there and run the football. But it's kind of who we are, and we'll uh, we'll take our chances. How much of an impact have you seen Eric Reed have back there since he joined their team? Good player, real good player. You see the veteran uh, experience. Uh, he does a nice job in the post safety. Does a nice job on some blitzes. He's good at disguising things. Uh, just a just a really good football player. Another, it's a veteran defense. Other than really the the corners are a little bit young, but. Uh, it's a very veteran defense. When you look at it, I think Peppers is what, you're 17. Uh, Thomas Davis is 13 or 14. Mike Adams was with us with the Colts. He's 13 or 14. I mean, it's just a really <laughs> veteran group. And you're like, wow, they've seen a lot of football. So that, that adds to the challenges of how they dissect things and formations and stuff like that. A ton of respect for, for that, that group. Pete said he enjoyed the Monday night football. But at the same time, it takes pride to kind of run a different offense than what's become a standard. Sure. Same uh, absolutely. Uh, again, I think uh, we just we are who we are, and as long as we can continue to have explosive plays, both you know run and pass, you know we can go play a Rams team and put up 31 points. And uh, I, I think it's pretty cool to be different. And people know when they play us, they're going to get a physical brand of football, and uh, we're going to leave their mark, and they're going to they're going to kind of feel us after they play us. So um, main thing is that we win. Again, there'll be games at some point where. Maybe Russ has to go out and throw for 350 yards, but uh, we again realize that the way for us to, to play the best is to be balanced and it starts with the running game. Do you watch a game like that and go, oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that, that's kind of a fun thing. I don't get a chance to watch uh, many of the Monday night games uh, just because we're working. Uh, Pete was 
bopping in and out of my office. You got to see this play. Uh, so it uh, sounds like it was a fireworks. Uh, two great offenses, uh, some really good quarterbacks. Obviously, we'll see Kansas City here in a couple weeks. But um, I love watching football, but on Monday nights, it's a little hard. I'll watch some hopefully tomorrow. Anything else? Thanks, Thank Coach. Thank good. Thanks, guys. Happy Thanksgiving.